So our next speaker is uh, Atu Yigzao Asafa, who is the uh, president of the Laser and Laser Products Industry Association. Uh, he represents the industry, and of course, he has also been CEO and manager of uh, different companies, so has a lot of experience managing companies as well as representing uh, the industry. So we'll hear from him what are some of the opportunities and, and some of the challenges that the industry faces. I'll take so. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> and thank you, Mr. Moderator. Uh, many of the facts have been uh, mentioned by the State Minister of Industry, but allow me uh, to say uh, some few points. Leather industry in Ethiopia is uh, one of the priority sector because it is a uh, leather, I mean, uh, resource-based industry. And more on that, uh, it has rich resources, such as 53 uh, million cattle and 25 million sheep, and 22 uh, million gold. The tanning industry goes to back to 1920, whereas the shoe and the other leather goods uh, manufacturing uh, units are recent phenomena. There are about 31 tanneries uh, with two uh, other glove manufacturing factories who, who joined the industry recently uh, and who are producing for, for the most developed uh, countries by producing gloves. The tannery has uh, uh, 20 modern uh, shoe factories without including the SMEs around Mercato and the rest of the, the nation with the reasonable capacity, and it has generated 10,000 uh, jobs uh, nationwide. Uh, pointing this, allow me to take you back to the historical uh, movement of the leather industry. As you know, leather industry started in Europe, developed there, and start moving to Asia and the rest of the world. As time goes by, the European economy moved to the high-tech sector. And because of the high labor cost and other uh, structural uh, change, the, the laser industry started moving from Europe to Asia and the rest of the world, mainly to China, India, and other Asian countries. And then, even these countries started making progress and went to the high-tech business or the high-tech industry. And labor became also expensive and resources became scarce. Now, the, histori the historical fact is telling us that even now the leather industry is finding to move its place. Where do you think? It has gone from Europe to Asia now that the movement will be to Africa. Because Africa has a potential to attract this leather industry. Among the African countries, as you have listened and gathered information, Ethiopia has a comparative advantage to attract the leather sector. Because, because of its huge resource in cattle, sheep, and goat, not only in quantity, but in quality. We have the, the finest sheepskin in the world, which is suitable for dressing glove, fashion glove, golf glove, and high-class shoes and bags and garments. And we call it Ethiopian Highland leather. It is world recognized, and that's why leading manufacturing companies of shoes, leather uh, processing tanneries are coming and joining the Ethiopian leather industry. To that effect, Ethiopian Highland Leather is, uh, is a brand of Ethiopian nature, and it has got license in Japan and in Ethiopia, and will go on promoting this Ethiopian Highland Leather in the rest of the world. 
other than the competitive factors that attract the leather industry uh, from the rest of the world to Ethiopia is the young population that we have and which is trainable and affordable. The other sector is what we are, Ethiopia is developing is a power. Power is relatively cheap and it will be cheaper upon completion of the Renaissance Dam. The other factor is the favorable uh, trade agreement that we have with the rest of the world, like Agua and uh, everything but, but not arms uh, in, in Europe and other preferential trade agreements that we have uh, <clears throat> for our uh, economy. Above all, we have well-established, organized and equipped tanneries and show factories who can be a good base and suppliers for shoe industry and other laser goods manufacturing units. We have also, as uh, His Excellency is the State Minister explained, we have uh, the State of the Art uh, Laser Institute, which helps investors and the existing uh, manufacturing units in research and development and in, in training the, the manpower that they need, especially in leather goods and tanning. And uh, <clears throat> thanks to the, our country's development, now we are in a position to supply also ready-made production units, which we have been listening yesterday and today. We have uh, industrial parks that uh, makes it very easy for investors. It's just coming with the technology, market, and their production facility, that's all. Above all, uh, there are also numerous incentives that are uh, provided by our government, and I don't want to go uh, in details because it has been said repeatedly. Leather is a fascinating industry. I happen to be uh, a staff in the National Bank of Ethiopia, and I don't know what took me to the leather industry. I joined the leather, the leather industries in the 1970s, and I worked in different state tanneries as a manager, and I have my own tannery in Bahadar. I started with a small-scale uh, uh, tannery with a few number of workers, but every year I keep on investing because I found the leather industry a promising one. Now, after investing in the, in the tanning business, I'm now moving towards uh, producing gloves, uh, bags, garments, and other leather goods so that we move on, adding value and export to the rest of the world. So uh, leather is, uh, uh, is good enough to support our economy. Uh, and uh, also to generate employment. One of the fascinating factors that people like the, 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 the leather industry is it generates employment. Not being employed by, in factories, but you can be self-employed at home by having a, uh, <clears throat> a simple machine and produce house made uh, products like purse bags and other leather goods. So for those who want to invest in Ethiopia in the leather sector, especially in, uh, in tanning, uh, things are uh, suitable. By saying this, I don't mean that he, everything is smooth and whoever wants to, uh, to invest in the leather business uh, the, it is a free ride. There are challenges. In the morning sessions, we have been told that uh, there are a lot of transformations uh, that can be carried out in the next, uh, the next uh, years. And we have been repeatedly uh, telling you that we have an uh, abundant resource of cattle, sheep, and goat, but it's not without problem. Even though we have huge resource, this uh, huge resource is, is managed at a small scale, scattered everywhere, 
and the husbandry system is backward. And we have uh, a, problem of, a problem of bacteria which affects the skins and hides and which affects the quality of the leather and it affects the price that we export. So to address this, we need to have a modern farm who can produce sheep, goats, and cattle in a healthy and safety manner, which increases the yields of the, 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 the which improves the safety and uh, health of the animals. And once the safety and the health of the animals are kept, the yield of meat and uh, milk will increase. And it will help for the abattoirs, for the export abattoirs, to have a better yield. And for those uh, dairy farmers to have a better milk and to supply to the mixed market and international market. So addressing uh, this, the husbandry system and improving it into a modern one will uh, solve the problem of the health and safety of the animals. And on the way, it will improve also the quality of the, our hides and skins, which will increase the value of our uh, leather and leather products. So I hope our Ministry of uh, Livestock and Fishery will take measures on this. The other uh, challenge we have is we have a number of tanneries, and those tanneries are dependent on importing of chemicals. We import uh, more than 3,000 tons of chemicals uh, because we don't have uh, domestic chemical companies that can produce leather chemicals. So even though it's a challenge for us, but it is a very good potential for investment for those uh, investors that, that would like to invest here in our country. <laughs> the other thing is the, the leather and leather goods manufacturers. They need uh, different components and accessories. But again, they depend also on imports. You know, importing, especially chemicals in bulk, is a huge problem for tanneries because it ties up their working capital for a longer pe period without using it. Again, on the leather and leather goods, it is the same thing. We depend on importing of uh, accessories and components. So for those uh, investors that would like to make accessories here locally, like swing trades, needles, lion zippers, knuckles, adhesives, etc., a number of items can be produced here, and you have a captive market here in Ethiopia and even to the neighboring African countries. <clears throat> And there is nothing west. There is nothing west in, in, in leather. You can use the west elements into products. And you can uh, convert uh, the solid wastes of leather into leather boards, glues, and other products. And that could also generate an opportunity for investment. So <clears throat> the leather industry has so many uh, opportunities to tap in. And those of you who would like to come and invest, you're welcome. Our association uh, and tanners here will uh, join you by experiencing their, um, I mean, their, uh, sharing their experience and uh, uh, be at the side of you in solving your problems. Thank you very much.